Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug One. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. I was on a no buy for a little while. I think I made it like 45 days, something like that. And then I began uh, back again for some items that I really wanted, but also um, I used uh, I used my Ulta points for some some stuff. So this is kind of a dual haul. It's some items that I purchased uh, and then some items that I use my points and I will hopefully be able to differentiate uh, between the two as I haul this stuff. It's kind of been here for a, a hot minute but I wanted to show you um, what I have bought and let me know what you think. Um, first of all with the my eye look today which is quite subdued for what this palette looks like. This is the Glam Light Ghost Face palette that has recently launched. Um, the packaging is really cute. It's like a TV with a remote. Um, and then it's one of these deals. I did not buy this for the licensing at all. I bought it for the color story. This is a beautiful, cool toned uh, palette that is um, my dream palette. It's gorgeous and I love it. This, again, this eye look is on this side but gorgeous is so pretty uh, that look is up on my channel if you want to go check it out please do so um, it is a uh, whole get ready with me so you can check out some of these other products as well okay lots and lots of things some items I have used some I have not so uh, some I can tell you a little bit about some we'll use together and we'll be good to go my bangs aren't done they're just here for the party. This is kind of messed up, mixed up, so bear with me. I I love you so much. Okay, um, we'll, we'll start on the left. Okay, AOA Studio. So I placed an AOA Studio order, several Ulta orders with my points, um, and then some indie brands, and then ColourPop. So yeah, that should be, I think that's everything. We'll see. Away Studio, um, this is the Tinted Brow gel, Fix Gel in Ebony because my brutes are now black. I wanted a darker brow gel. It says Ebony. It's not pure black. It's kind of dark brown. But I used it today lightly. You can check that out on my um, Get Ready With Me because it's not exactly what you would think it is, but it works. It works just fine. Um, okay, good golly. Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. It has 95% snail mucin concentrate. I have obviously used some. Uh, I love a toner after essence, before serums. This uh, Peach Slices is a new-ish brand to me, but it is made in Korea. I really love Korean skincare for the most part. Um, I have... A couple of different toners going at once. I've got an e.l.f. one that I'm almost out of. Um, this was a sample, but this is the Pure Skin with Oat Milk. It's really good. So when this is done, I will roll this one in. But so far, so good on that one. Oh, gosh. A lot of these are from the Fall Haul. Stuff that was on sale that I purchased with points. So I kind of made it a double thing. This is Juvia's Place Blushed in Volume 4. This is absolutely stunning. I got this instead of the Dior like $40 blush. I got this one instead and it's absolutely beautiful. It's not really the time of year that I wear super pinky blushes. You can wear it year round, but you know what I'm saying. This is more of a peachy blush kind of time of the year for me, but that is so pretty that I could not help myself at all. And so that's the thing. I got the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in 0 0.5. This is in, this is fair. This is in comparison to zero, um, excuse me, to 1.0. This is 1.0 light. This is 0 0.5. I use this underneath my foundation today. Um, it's, it's not as light as you would think. It's still kind of peachy orangey, 
but it does the job and I still, I love that product for underneath makeup. It's really nice. Um, I got the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance. This was the primer that was on, I think, 21 Days of Beauty. This is a really pretty um, glowy primer from Estee Lauder. I had used a sample of it, really thought it was pretty. I love a glowy primer. I will put a highlighter on underneath my foundation. That's how much I like glow. So this one was um, really pretty. And when it was on sale, I was like, absolutely yes. Um, so yes, that one came. I'm gonna put recycling down there and transfer it later. We've got to take out. Listen, Mr. My Woman doesn't love me. Look how much trash is in there. Look how much. What's today, Tuesday? Go get it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I did purchase the Tarte Ultra Creamy Tarte Shake Tape. Uh, this is in Porcelain Beige 8B. This one, um, I had been kind of, you know, eyeballing. I've, I've had Tarte Shape Tapes for quite a while and uh, like them very much. They're not like the end-all be-all, but this one in Ultra Creamy I thought would be a nice one to try. So she's about my skin tone. That's about how light I am. There she is. I hadn't bought a concealer in a long time, y'all. Long time. With that, I got a, one of the free gifts was purchased for Tarte. This was their little tiny baby minis. I got a Man Eater Mascara, the Amazonian Clay Blush in Seduce, which is, I mean, a baby. Look at her. She's up there. But that's pretty. It's a soft pink beige. And then one of their Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms in Orchid. Look at her. So cute. There that is. Happy to have that. And then um, I got a bunch of gifts with purchase. Like a bunch of bunch. And so some of the things I've actually... I don't remember what I got. But this is one of them. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with Niacinamide. Um... I got an It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep like cream. I got the Confidence in an Eye Cream. I got the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm No Filter Primer. That's neat. I haven't tried that before. The La Roche Posay Niacinamide Serum. These kind of things I just I just use. I love them. I use them up. I don't even buy the full size. I've got like so many of them. And I just I have a great time. The Smashbox Illuminate Glow Primer. I'm excited about that because I love a glow primer, as stated earlier. Uh, the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream. I don't like rose scented things, but I'll use it. And the, I don't know what brand this is. What brand is that? PB? Pro, oh, Pro, Provence Beauty. Deep Blue Cloud Night Moisturizer. It looks like there's plugins in it. Cool. I don't even know. So we'll use all that and try it all out. I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush in Rosé You Slay. I have one of the bronzers? Question mark. Is this you? Nope, one of the contours. That's the only other one of that line that I have purchased. But I thought this was a really pretty blush and it's glowy. And it is. So that's pretty. We'll use her together. I do like cream blushes. Uh, speaking of cream blushes, this is the Glow Play Blush from MAC in Heat Index. I believe this was another 21 Days of Beauty purchase. And I have not used one of their Glow Play Blushes before. This is very bright. I am very excited about it. Ooh. That's pretty. Mm hmm It looks crazy intimidating in the pan. It's not. Oh, I'm very excited about her. Yes, please. Again, in heat index. That's beautiful. Uh, I got an Ulta eyeliner free with purchase. Whatever. I have the Pixie on the Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Stick. Haven't used her yet. Uh, it's Soft Glow, I believe, is the shade. Let's see what shade are they? Oh, quite shiny. Really pretty. Okay. We'll use her. Charles. I believe this... I don't remember. Pacifica Glow Baby. 
serum booster. It's got glycolic acid and vitamin C. Good molecules, nice cinnamon serum. We love, we love the serums. Round here. Uh, okay, back to AOA Studio. I got little fingernail clippers. Look at her. <laughs> My house eats fingernail clippers. Bobby pins and fingernail clippers. I don't know where they go. I got a couple more. Uh, they released on Shop Miss A the um, a new root color product where you you know you here I'll do it now. This is the black one again. I, I uh, so in the lid is a little powdery thing, and then you have the little spongy thing. And if you've got kind of, not kind of, if you've got thinning hair or spots that you don't necessarily want to show your scalp, you just do one of these things. I think these were a dollar or a dollar eighty-eight or a dollar fifty-five or something like that. Just do one of those things, you know. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. I have the black and the brown. Um, dark brown. Um, I've used products like this before and I like it. Just, I mean, I have, I mean, I'm a, well, I'm a old white woman, so I have like scalp shown through <laughs> and it's very, very white. <laughs> so that's going to happen. Um, but those are really inexpensive, very easy to use. Um, they aren't like, they don't stain or anything. And if you, if I were to like scratch right there, I would come off with a little bit of product. So just know it's not permanent. Um, but I've never had an issue with it. So, hey, that's that. I did place an order with Gimme Glow Cosmetics and got some singles, but in that order, I got their eyeshadow primer. Um, and this is in the pale shade. I don't know what it was called and it's not labeled on there. More Shop Miss A. I just couldn't stand it. They have these little lip balms in what look like little milk jugs. And so they're, they're sweet milk lip balms and they're all in different flavors not flavor scents this is lavender grape tea and this is matcha apple I got the whole set I didn't need them I'm about halfway through the peach one by my desk at work it smells amazing and they're just really cute little there's no color at all it's just a lip balm um I got their new I heart do blushes so liquid blushes and there are five of them and I figured that we would begin to use these together as well. I just got the whole set because who doesn't need more blush? The reason I placed the order, they got me on the old gram because they had a, somebody putting this nail polish on their nails. Why is this unique? It's not. It's just the prettiest, shimmeriest, really pretty freaking nail polish. And I bought it. it this is in the shade Monet. And then as I was looking at nail polish, this is the shade Tiger's Eye, and I bought that one too. <laughs> did I need nail polish? No. Uh, but I, for a dollar, I did. So I grabbed those two, and then they had some some new body care with Shop Miss A, which is new as well. Um, it's not their brand. It's another brand. And so I, try, I got a few things to try. So this is the Spothecary. That's a funny name, Spothecary. This is the Watermelon Hydrating Body Butter. Uh, and I think it was $1.88 maybe. Um, everything on that side is cruelty free and all that jazz. This smells really good. This body butter smells really good. It smells really watermelon, which I really appreciate. The other one that I got is the Cotton Candy. It does not smell like cotton candy to me. It's, it's sweet smelling, but it doesn't smell like cotton candy. These two I haven't opened yet. So I can't tell you what they smell like, but I got some sugar scrubs. Full? I think they were $1.88, but that's cute. I'm hoping the strawberry smells really strawberry because I really like, I like strawberry smell. It smells good. I also like to eat strawberries. Uh, but they're, little tip for you. But cotton candy and strawberry of that. And I thought, we'll try it out. I'll let you know how those go too. All right, everybody scooch over. Place the ColourPop order for the... Haunted Mansion products that I knew that if I didn't get, I would be sad. And there were only three that I knew that if I didn't get, I would be sad. One of them I probably could have done without, but I still got it. I got one of the lippies in Beware, and it's the Nude. It's an ultra matte lip. I like their ultra matte lips. I think they're fine. I don't know that 
they're unique in any way, shape, or form, but I thought it was pretty. It's It's got the, the lid that's different on it. This is the package. So cute. I love the Haunted Mansion. I ride it at Disney. It's great. Got one of the Super Shocks in Creepin'. I'm doing really good about like just, if there's only something that I want, I'm only going to get that something. This is an Ultra Glitter. It's in Creepin'. I've already swatched it because I can't stand it. I'll swatch it for you though. It's just clear base and like blue shimmer. I mean, you can't hardly even tell it's blue, but it's that has no pigment underneath shine, which I adore. Love it so much. I will get a lot of use out of that. I love ultra glitters that have no pigment underneath. Just makes them very versatile and I love them. Okay, and then the palette, of course. The palette is very similar, I think, to, oh, this is the cute part. Hold on, let me do it. Okay, so it says, welcome foolish mortals on it, you know? And then it says, there's no turning back now. I had a good old fashioned panic attack on the Haunted Mansion one time. Just, there's a little another tip for you. Here's the, <laughs> here's the packaging. It is so cute. I love it already. Okay, it's cooler toned. <sighs> Mine came a little dusty. It's, a, it's the small pans. So, um, but it's cooler toned. This shade right here, this shade right here will get me to buy any any freaking palette in the entire world. I have a million of it. It's basically Max Kid, which is probably discontinued by now, but it's literally Max Kid. I've got several of them. Um, it's got one pressed glitter. This one is like a matte with with kind of multicolored glitters in it. Um, lots of shimmers. That one's like a duochrome. -y. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just beautiful. I'm so excited to have it. I will get a lot of use out of it. It's my types of shades. I don't like warm tones. I can wear them. I do wear them. But I really, really, really prefer cool tones. They are my jam. And I placed a second ColourPop order that we have to open the box together. And I'm going to show you a couple, a palette that I think is similar. Somebody said it was similar, so I'm going to look at them together too. So this is... Another color pop order. All right, the one they said was similar, the new Sailor Moon. So the new Sailor Moon is called For Love and Justice. She's cute. Small pans as well. I kind of see it, but I also kind of don't. Do you need both? Probably not. Did I need both? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, I did. Yep. Those are both my jam. Yep. Also got two... The two highlighters with the Sailor Moon collection. I thought they were really pretty, both of them. Sorry, they're all bubble wrap. I mean, just the packaging is just stupid cute. This is in Moonlight. This is the lighter of the two. It's really pretty. Hinky. Pinky highlighter. And then same box packaging. Still stupid cute. The other one is Moon Kingdom. I was like, whoa. They wrote it in cursive and it threw me for a loop for a second. Moon Kingdom is the purpley one. Which I would totally use as a blush. That reminds me of a MAC collab they did with Justine Skye. That's what that reminds me of. Huh. There's that. 
last thing I got from ColourPop, I did. I got the 1111 palette because I'm not going to get the Natasha Denona. And this one looked close enough to scratch the itch of the Natasha Denona. And I saw the swatches and thought, yep, that's good enough for me. It's more of a neutral. It's not cool. It's not super warm. There, I mean, there are, that one's a little bit warm, you know, but it's not bad. I don't love gold. I can, I will use a gold, especially like in conjunction with that type of uh, crease shade. I think it's pretty. Uh, I really, really like taupes and I like the champagnes. And that's, I think it's just beautiful. So that's another palette that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And I'm excited to have those ColourPop palettes. Okay. I placed an order with Glisten Cosmetics. And they, they released a Halloween bundle of their wet liners. Okay. So just little, and you're like, that can't be a lot. Yes, it can. There were five. There were five. So these are all, this is so cute. This one's, I'll unscrew it. It's vampy. So they're cake liners. So you add water. So that one's got like a burgundy and a silver. That's called vampy. This one is boogeyman. Look. So cute. This one is barbed wire. What? That one's way neon. You can't, it might, it's probably not picking up on camera. Neons are tough on camera. This one is hocus pocus. And then the last one is pumpkin. Again, a neon that's probably not picking up neon on camera with a teal. Gosh, those are cute. Aren't they cool? They're, they're small. I don't need them very big. I'm not going to go through these shades. Uh, but again, Bless and Cosmetics I got two brushes as well. Let me pull those out. Um, I got one that is more angled and one that is just a thin fine liner brush. Love that. So excited to use those have been waiting for you to use those so we can use them together. Okay, onward. <sighs> so much. Okay. So this one came separately. I don't know why. Maybe it wasn't at the warehouse or whatever, where everything else was. So, haven't opened her yet. Oh goodness, sorry everybody. This is the Revolution Orifix Aventurine Fixing Spray Enriched with Tiger Grass. It's got like crystals in it at the bottom. Look. Why? I don't know. Why'd I get it? I don't know. It was pretty highly rated. Did I need another spray? No. Did I get it? Yes. Okay. This is Old the Hall with Points. Brace yourself. There's a lot. Also, I was on the hunt for, not really on the hunt. I was, I really was driven to get some new fragrances for fall. There's, there's a lesson there and I don't know. Um, so, so there are quite a number of fragrances, um, among other things. Something I got from Amazon, I think. This is the Misha BB Boomer. It's a primer. It's a glowy primer that's supposed to go under your BB cream. So we'll try that out together. I forgot that one. Okay. Makeup. Again, using points. This was Revolution Ceramide Primer. I just like what it looked. I have this, I've had the seal on it before and used it up and I loved it. So I thought I'd try that one, question mark. I bought the Milani Dolce Perla Baked Highlighter. I've seen this being used and I thought I need that in my life. So I got her. These two came out, of course I got them. This is Garden Lights and Coastal Lights from Flower Beauty. I have the first two of this range and they are the most stunning lid shades of all time. And I needed these two, so I got those. I picked up the new-ish Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer. I got the shade Buttercream. It's a little puck, but it's a real skinny puck, which I like. 
Um, this is made in Italy, which is a nice thing to say. Buttercream. I think it'll be really nice. I like cream bronzers. I like Juvia's Place. Win-win. I also got another shade of my favorite blush formula of the year, Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. This is in Berry Cheeks. My very favorite is Rosie Rosewood. She's darker. Berry Cheeks. I also got... This is a palette I was like looking at for quite a while and it was on sale so I picked her up Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's it's the pastels but my goodness what pastels aren't they gorgeous yes they are is it the time of year for pastels no am I gonna wear them yes I like that very much okay let's fragrance so fragrance is a thing. Um, I, I, I just, I kind of pulled all my fragrances off of my vanity. I pulled out my little samplers and put them in my little cute little jars. Um, and just have randomly picked them up and used them recently. Just, I don't even know what they are. I pick it up, I use it. If I like it, I'm like, oh cool. If I hate it, then I put it in the giveaway pile for like friends and family to go through if they like it. So I've done that and I was like, you know, I really, I just want some new fragrances. So then I blew all my points <laughs> to get new fragrances. So let's talk. I got the world's tiniest. Uh, this is the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk fragrance. This is a quarter of a fluid ounce. It's a tiny little baby, but this smells good. This smells good. It is a dauber, which I do not love but it is milky and vanilla -y. That's the best way to describe that. I grew up as a child not drinking chocolate milk as much, but drinking vanilla milk. My grandmother would have, would put vanilla and some sugar in milk and instead of chocolate milk, I'd have vanilla milk. This smells like my childhood. Um, and it is warm-ish, not super warm as a fragrance, but I am nostalgic for this fragrance. It will last me quite a while because I have other fragrances to wear, so I'm very happy to have that. Again, don't love the dauber. Would have preferred a rollerball or even a spray, but I'll be fine. Good morning, tiny. Okay, another one that really came out of the woodwork for me. This is Coco and Cadmere from Clinique. This is beautiful. Um, this is the first taste of a decadent dessert. Uh, baked treats, Cocoa Absolute Vanilla and Musk Accords. It, it smells very fall to me. It is a slightly gourmand fragrance, but that is really cool. They have these new little skinny ones and it's, you know, for layering, this is fine just as it is. It's nice. I like that one. That's a good fall fragrance for me. I was just reading notes and like, put it in the cart. Like, let's go. This one is one that I put it in the cart and let's go. This thing, this Moonlight by Ariana Grande. This is my first Ariana Grande, like actual perfume perfume. Um, we're gonna have to take off the poofy thing. Like we're gonna have to get that off of there. But the, the bottle is beautiful and iridescent. Let me see if it tells me notes on here. It might. No, it doesn't. This one is more candy-ish and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to look. Um, but yeah, this one, it's gorgeous, but it also smells good. Um, this is stupid good. This is a Truly perfume. You know that like brand that has all the body butters and like boob scrubs and stuff. I'm like, they had a perfume made of their unicorn fruit scent. It is sugar and cotton candy, maybe some berries. It is stupid good. I had no idea. I bought it. And then probably the Peace Day Resistance, it came out, I think, for Holiday the Duo. Um, these two are, I smelled them in store when they first came out. I really like them. I really like them. So this is Mod by Ariana Grande. There are two scents. This is um, Mod Vanilla is the white one and Blush is the pink one. I have a 
um, like a travel spray of the blush. I could not find the travel spray of the vanilla. And because I would have bought that probably instead of the blush, I like the vanilla a little bit more than the blush. Let me tell you, I sprayed this on me. Getting it out is fun. Um, and it stayed all day. Gosh, this packaging is a beast. So it is, took me a while to figure that out. By, me, by a while, I mean, Mr. Mugwump had to. This was blush. This has got more floral in it. I don't love floral scents, but I like that one. And this is vanilla. That is good. Gosh, that is good. There they are. There's my, there's my fragrances. There's my haul. I hope, I hope that you enjoyed my haul. Let's uh, use some of these products together, shall we? And see how they work. If you are interested in any of these, let me know down below. I'll be sure to do a video featuring them so that you and I can talk about them a little bit more. Um, what are your favorite fall fragrances? Like, what do you go to in the fall? I just have a lot of really springy, summery, sugary scents, and I wanted, I just wanted a little bit different. So I did. I went, I went and got different. I hope that you enjoyed the haul. If you did, do all the YouTube things and, and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.